I gotta level up our Alistair. Let's give him some more strength. I really want him to have that blood dragon armor. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, Templar. Hands arrows, both of them all disposable effects, those new five, friendly fire possible. Well, good thing I'm on normal and I don't get friendly fire. Oop. Oh. Shit! I pissed off Alistair! <laughs> um, do I have anything that I can make him happy again? I should. I think I do. Other. Any special brew, ale. No, I don't have any! Gosh darn it! <laughs> Oh well, I have something I can give to Shale. Hi Shale, have a green stone. Very nice. Yeah. Shale's um, gift thing is permanently bugged. Instead of starting at 10, for some reason, Shale starts at 5 and goes down from there. Which means Shale is very hard to get 100%. Which means I might abuse the feast day gift DLC, which I do have. It is done. Spell for that, Crystal. Idle time is wasted time. Cheese knife. Let's get on it. Cheese knife. A cheese knife? Okay. Um, compare. Uh, offhand weapon. It's a pretty good cheese knife. <laughs> but we're going to equip the cheese knife. I have a cheese knife. Okay. Let's give Shale some stuff. Any crystal? There we go. Crystals. Small flawed. Nature damage. Let's focus shale on lightning damage. And we'll keep lightning? Sure. Large flood lightning crystal. So we are done with this area. We have acquired shale. Now it's time for us to go get win. And then we will have our party. We will have our pa party. Yeah. Oh, her luck. Wink. Wait, what? Oh, hi. Shale's very small for a golem. Um. Hi. Ah! I love Shale. <laughs> Shale's hatred for pigeons. <laughs> okay, let's say hi to Shale and do a little bit of um, rearranging of equipment before we go onwards to the Circle of Magi. Dun 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 dun. Shale. I lied to you, you know. Oh goddamn it! About Lillian. why I left all eight. Oh, Leviana's gonna tell me stuff. Um. Uh, why? I didn't feel like talking about it then. What happened to me? Maybe it will affect us. Maybe not. But you should. I wasn't know. expecting this. I came to Ferelden and the Chantry because I was being hunted in Orle. Hunted? What for? I was framed, betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust. Marjolaine. She was my mentor and friend. She taught me the bardic oh, art, honey. how to enchant with words and song, to carry myself like a highborn lady, to blend in as a servant. The skills I learned, I used to serve her, my bardmaster, because I loved her, and because I enjoyed what I did. Um, did she? How did she betray you? Can you can say it was my fault. There was a I man doubt I was that. To kill. I was to bring Marjolaine everything he carried. I don't know who this man was. She gave me a name and a description, and I hunted him down. I found documents on his body, sealed documents. And she opened them. My curiosity got yep. the better of me. Something told me that I needed to know what was in those letters. Marjolaine had been selling all kinds of information about Orle to other countries. Oh no. Ivara and Antiva among others. It was treason. Um... Uh, so it's just a lie. My life has barred, taught me that my loyalties should be kept fluid. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. So she was only Ole worried about Marjolaine. With so many countries, Aww. it takes a harsh view of such things, as I later discovered. 
Um, Most countries don't appreciate trees. Left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. That is why the documents had to be destroyed. She said, "I believed her. I kept believing up till the moment they showed me the documents, altered <gasps> by her hand to make me look the traitor." Oh no. The Olesian girls. Oh, I need to play Liliana's song. I haven't done it yet. Did terrible things to make me confess and reveal my conspirators. It was a traitor's punishment I endured, and at the end of it, all that awaited me was eternity in an unmarked grave. Oh, honey. How did you get the out? The skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something, at least. I broke free when I saw the opportunity. I did not seek Marjolaine out. If she thought I was coming for her, she would have me caught again. And she came to the Ferald and Lothering went into the Chantry and hid. I was furious, oh, betrayed. Honey. But what could I do against her? And so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, and the Maker saved my soul. And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. Damn straight, Lily. Wait, at least in this? Um, thank you for trusting me. It feels me. good to have Let's this be nice. test. <laughs> thank you for listening. And UA is a nice person. Hawk will be snuggy. Liliana approves. Yay. Hey, Alistair. I love you. Hi, Shale. Need to talk to you. We haven't done it yet. I or, see well, it found some yet. augmentation crystals. I was not even aware it knew about them. Well done. Thank you. So. What does it think? They don't make me look any wider, do they? <coughs> I find I'm already too wide as it is. By the way, Shell's a chick. I think they're I think they're so pretty. They are, aren't they? I so adore them. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want Will to do, Shell. from ear to ear, so to <coughs> speak. I will find <sighs> you more. Hi, Shell. Are you okay? That's with heavy size. Oh. That, merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. The most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the Darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to hey. a single tear by the tragedy. Moved to a single tear? Won't we be right next to your stain? I think not. I am made of pure rock skin to core. At best, I can become a pile of dust, but a smear I will definitely not leave behind. Uh, well, That's maybe if softer, we mix dust with water, it become like mud, and then it can smear it. Friends. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. You don't like pigeons, do you? Oh, <sighs> shit! I have some questions. It doesn't have better things to do. No. Are those crystals I like to think of them as accessories. What do they do? I suspect that it is an art that was practiced when Gollum's Didn't mean to piss off Shale. commonplace. My former master collected whatever lore he could find on the subject. He searched far and wide to collect what crystals he could and then added them. It is not an unpleasant sensation. Um, so they're... So it's a dwarven thing then. So I would assume. My former master enjoyed poking around the ruins in the deep roads, after all, and barking I would not want to go into did. the deep roads. That As is I asking for trouble. The crystals allow me to alter the flow of magic around me. The helm had hoped to turn me into a battery of mana, something he could tap at will. But they can do other things, some too? Some of the crystals increase the presence of mana, some absorb or reflect spells. There are Ooh. various kinds. Let's all get all of those and put them in you. Should it ever find one of these crystals, I can likely tell it the function and what it would do if added to me. Would you be willing to have more added? Why not? I <laughs> don't get to wear clothing and other adornments like the rest of you creatures, after all. That answers its question, I assume. Unless it has more. I, of course I have more. I'm told you killed your oh, former master. How interesting. Certainly, I remember having a master. My memories of what happened to him are vague. Are they now? Mm. 
but not non-existent. Clever and true. Oh, very well. Let me see what I can recall. My former master enjoyed experimenting upon me. I remember that much. There was that seems like a bad idea. The spells and then the crystals. He was very eager to alter my function, I think. Um, and here, won't you? Oh, no. So you retaliated against him? He possessed my control rod. And back then, it would have prevented me from doing anything he did not command me to. But now it's broken. No matter how I might have wished to. So what happened? I am unsure. He was experimenting, and then... nothing. So he hit the kill me button by accident. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. It does like to laugh, does it? Yep. But who knows? I may have such a thing. And so then let's not do that. Gone. I was standing where I, don't I want was to hit her kill switch. in the village, and I could no longer move. The villagers came, poked and prodded me in fear, and then realized they could neither move me nor destroy me. So they simply left me. And in time, I forgot I hadn't stood there all along. You didn't wonder where he'd gone? <laughs> wonder. He died. You squished him. You made him a smear. Gone. For so many years, I'd had to leap to that little toadstool's every command. Get this, pick up that, put it down, pick it up again. The gall! At first, I'd hoped he'd simply decided to leave me there paralyzed. An acceptable trade-off. After years passed, I simply stopped caring. Ha! Um. Maybe it has something to do with the crystals. Mm, possibly. Something Except malfunctioned and you exploded. With the crystals at the time, I think. Oh. But my memory is not good. It may be correct. Whatever the mage did seemed to render the control rod useless, for which I should be thankful. Yes. And now and you have free will. He doesn't decide to copy Great. his experiments. Not that no. I would allow it. It is nothing to fear. That's not me. much. Much. Try calling him no mage. Sounds good to me. The things that it fights, and it fights things often, that is a different story. Let us what? get back to the walking and the fighting. My stone is beginning to itch again. Your stone is beginning to itch. There we go, the oh. shale's not too pissed. Why are you still sighing? It I have some questions. Have better things to do. Um, how did you end up in Hanley? Oh yes, that I remember quite well. Oh, My well that's master, good. The Mage Wilhelm, he brought me. Really? As I recall, he had acquired some position with whatever lord ruled the land. I, being little more than a glorified possession at the time, was brought along. Oh, huh. how he enjoyed impressing the villagers with me. Gollum snarl at that villager there. Be fearsome. And of course, I would have to do it. Oh, poor girl. God, that would suck. Being a golem under somebody's thumb. Um, but I thought you'd enjoyed scaring humans. I'd have happily stomped them all into paste, and then ripped down their little houses and stomped on them, too. How do you in stomp fact, on a house? After 30 years of watching them, I'd do it twice. <laughs> what I didn't like was being ordered to do it. Oh, 30 Dying years, at least knows how those long it was. frightened morons like some scary thing. Once I was a statue, it took those villagers years before they'd even approach me. The first one to actually work up the nerve to touch me urinated himself. <laughs> oh! Hopefully not on you. Remember anything before, I honey? traveled with the mage. He did a lot of traveling, I remember that. But where we went, it is rather fuzzy. How was he not in the circle? I remember circle? great battles, fighting many humans long ago. They were all very soft and squishy. <laughs> and before did you make that, paste? I... No, there are only images. I was somewhere dark. Dark? Deep roads? Uh, how old are you? I have no idea. Wilhelm used to brag that the dwarves stopped making golems centuries ago. I do not age. So you're old as dirt. Do. Okay. Sadly, my memory is no better. Plus, I get bored and stop paying attention. <laughs> Why are we in front of the tower? That is where Wilhelm kept me. He wanted me out in the open where I could be frightening like a scarecrow. I was supposed to watch for thieves. Bah. Plus, like anybody who would come near indoors. you. She said Again, there wasn't room paste. for me. Hag. His wife? Hm. He doesn't like the hag. I was once larger, 
ten feet tall. Then the loathsome wow. hag complained that I couldn't fit through the doors. So the mage had me shrunk down, shrunk down. Can it believe it? And she still wanted me out. I want a ten foot tall golem. God damn it, Willem.